Welcome back. We are playing Three Kingdoms, The Last Warlord. Uh, this is a strat turn-based strategy game that takes place in the Three Kingdoms period of China. We are playing as Liu Zheng, and we have gotten... Let's see. This little piece of China in the bottom left corner to ourselves. Or I suppose it's now becoming a rather large piece of China. Uh, last session, what we did is we took over this city, and we mainly just shuffled officers about, employed officers, just kind of looking to consolidate the, the several cities we picked up here uh, in the previous episode. And this episode, we will be looking to probably take out this gentleman. Uh, I believe this is Jin... Whose force is this? Zhang Xian's force. We will be looking to take him out, so take out all three of the cities. Uh, this will be pretty easy. Um, the reason for, let's call it the rush on this, is that we Zhu, he has employed Zhu Rong, who, which we want, and we don't want him to marry her off to someone because we want to be able to do that ourselves. Uh, this is probably the best female officer in the game. The game is lagging a little bit for us here. And she has an extremely high dual score. Um, not only that, um, you can make it so that her archery stat is her highest stat, or if you kind of worked at it, his, her capture stat as well, even. And so you can use her to boost the archer stat of one of your guys. And so she's really good. Who does she like? That must be her daughter. Um, okay, so that's what we will be focusing on mainly today. And... I think we might even be able to start on that. Hmm. So the thing why this is going to be so easy is this city only has one guy in it. This city has two. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack both of these cities. And then we are going to uh, ask him to surrender out of the third city. And so this will be really easy. Uh, I think we might even do it this turn. I think what we're going to do is we're going to march out from here into Nanhai, and then not march out until the turn starts, see what he does out of Giyu Yang, so let's do that. Uh, because the AI will calculate what they want to do, and then respond. So, let's see. I think this is all of our troops. Uh, but we want to... be attacking with Menquo. Oop, that's not the guy we wanted to... Huh. Let's see. Just kind of trying to keep the party together here. See, is Mengu even? I think we'll decide on where everyone's going a little bit later, uh, eventually, because this will be enough to take out the guy, and that's kind of what we're looking for. And we will change the policy of this place to not get this so many troops. Okay, now see, he is coming from here to reinforce, and this is what the AI wants to do. So we will let him march most of the way, and then we will, or some of the way, and then we'll attack from this city into here. We 
might do this one. Ourselves. I forgot we have cavalry here, so that's perfect with him. Oh, we might want to use, actually, a larger force, because... We'll be getting assistance. And we don't have to worry too much about getting attacked, because the AI doesn't usually pull that move. Or I don't think I've ever seen them pull the move where they're going to attack the city that we're coming from. Uh, because we left it poorly defended. Oop, we do want to give some siege weapons. Not really bothering to check their siege. I don't think it's too important. It's a bit more important where you're going to be fighting the battle yourself. Ooh, this isn't good. So we know that this place is almost out of gold. That's interesting. Oh, well, they're getting transported stuff anyways, so it shouldn't matter. Really not a lot of troops. We are mostly bows, so we actually could do... Let's see. Flying Goose. Don't use this formation very often. It's an okay one, though. We'll do this, because we want Jiang Wan's uh, unit to be relatively healthy. That's kind of the... He needs to be at max health at the end of all this. Because he's the leader. And then... making short work of them. We are going to release all the prisoners because we are going to be asking him to surrender to us anyways. And so uh, if they are currently prisoners when the force surrenders, then you don't get them on your force. So that's why we want to do it like this. Juanfa, a little bit of lag. Send out her. And then we will send out a diplomat, because it'll take a couple turns for him to get there. Check and see about awarding, guys. Got plenty of disloyal guys. Shy Queen, what do you have? Something that gives immunization. A horrible governor. I guess we don't really care too much what you get. We're gonna give you. I kinda don't wanna give it to him because it's a nice item, but. I'm not sure why exactly it's lagging. 
think I have most of the other stuff closed in the background. It's always weird when these like 8-bit games lag. Because I have just like an absolute toaster of a computer. First, we're going to reward all these guys, uh, finish up those battles, and then, like, more long term, uh, just look to consolidate what we have. We could just rapidly expand and try and take over everything, uh, and we're in a pretty good spot to, like, do that relatively quickly, but, um, you know, the... On some level, that's not quite what this game's really about. I think I messed up. I should have just given. Should have led with that. That is. Uh, we're gonna be taking that from you. That's a good one. Now you're not very happy with us. So one thing you can always do is, so there's very few two-handed officers, so you, this makes a good award item. And then Shai Yi. I haven't seen this too often, so again, part of the new update, he has a plus five academics, so we will kind of just relieve him of that burden. He's not a fan of, but that's okay. And we'll give him a nice wine. I think we're doing research currently. Yeah, we want to actually start filling out some of these crafting. We want to get grab winemaking eventually, or pretty soon here, actually, even. And so we gotta work towards that. Because uh, we are starting to get to the point where we... So, just to take a look, quickly explain this before we get back to the battles. Uh, you have features, right? And if you get high enough of these things, the features activate. And they give you various stuff. I know you can't see the bottom right because of how things are, but... Um, if we look here, like, you need salt preservation, the tech, and then you get this stuff, or sericulture, and you get this tech. And a lot of these actually make stuff, so this makes the arrow bamboo, this makes this. And so having the winemaking gives us wine items, which we can use to reward officers, which is why I mentioned that. Okay. But we will finish taking this guy out. Hopefully we don't get attacked from here to here. If we do, we'll just march Jianwan back. Um, let's see... I don't think we need to do reconnaissance. We're just gonna do... Normally this one is actually quite good, because 20% bonus to the commander, you can't have your commander die. Um, but we are gonna do flying goose. Because we have so many archers. And let's go. Again, encountering a little bit of lag. <sighs> but this, we should make pretty short work of him. Gong Z is not even a very good officer, so... And notice how you can see Gongzi running down into this other city. By attacking both the cities on the same turn, we are avoiding a situation where uh, he has a very good chance to defend. Uh. 
and now he is down to one city, which means we can get him to surrender. Zhang Shang is going to get there basically right when we want him to. We're going to see about awarding anyone and employing people. We have a personage here, so we can try some of the writing, which we have been collecting, guys. As I recall, we wanted to try and find out about this hero's recording, because it sounded interesting. Oop, didn't mean to right-click. You can right-click to go backwards in the menus. That's how I go backwards in the menus so quickly. So I think it said political. And we are just going to keep on doing this until he becomes exhausted or we get the item we want. He's worn out, so let's see what Zhang Zhao has to offer. Presentation avoidance to names of emperor. Interesting. And these pages that are being written we can use to boost our guys. And the corresponding stat that they're named after. Which isn't... Alright, so he's worn out and we're out of stuff. So, that's that. Kind of forgot to do the message board last turn. forget to do the Emperor stuff. Which is like kind of part of consolidation. And what we will do is we'll also... S I think we can send out another diplomacy guy. Yeah, we will send out another one just in case we can't get him to surrender, here with Zhang Shang. Uh, let me do this. Yu Ying's actually pretty good, so. As a governor. He's also pretty one of the solid guys here. Maybe don't need him there, but okay. After this, we're probably gonna move Yan Yan and uh, Huang Quan up here, as well as Zhang Ren eventually. Okay, let's see if we can get him to surrender. We've clapped your forces. Don't march out. Just give in. Surrender. Yes, he will surrender. Don't need to look too carefully because this often happens where you insta hit the bandit. His combat score is too low. Oh. Hmm. So, just in time, we got the guy to surrender. Notice if we take a look. Because there are fewer and fewer forces, some forces are now getting to send two guys, and we are getting to send two, both Wutugu, Wutugu, and Zuchu. So we actually have a reasonable chance of winning this. 
Um, I still think we probably aren't going to win yet, but we might. Excited to hit, see Hanjong and Lubu in the top bracket. Those are some of the strongest guys. Not excited to see Tai Chi Chi uh, in our bracket, because he's quite strong. But we are power counter skill. So as far as matchups go, this is a matchup we kind of like, but he's very good. So he look at this archery score, is extremely high. Yep. And now we still have a chance in Wutugu, but probably not a very good one. Where's Wutugu? He's over here in this bracket. That's kind of a softish bracket. Overall, the strength of the tournament gets going up as these smaller forces are getting eliminated. Wutugu gets eliminated. Zhao Hu Wan moves on. Zhao Hu Wan, I think, is quite underrated because he has high... He has a low combat score, uh, but he has high of, like, all the other dual stats. So he actually makes... And he has pretty high academics, so he actually makes a really good uh, master. Okay. So we want to award all of our new guys. Oh, they're pretty... They look very loyal. So let's go details, officers, and we're going to check their items. Uh, we're going to sort by book, but we're kind of just going to look through everyone. And be like, do we have a problem with them having this item? We probably are going to take our, her spear away. Well, we have a problem with this. Uh, I don't think she has a high flood, so we're gonna... And we kind of, all of the things equal, don't mind her having a higher academic score. That way, uh, she uh, can learn faster. Probably don't deserve that, but I don't think I care enough to change it. This is a pretty good halberd, but this is actually guy, this guy is actually not terrible. Um, a little surprised that he doesn't have high infantry and low cavalry, but whatever. He actually might be... No, he doesn't have high riding. We are going to want to swap out because we want uh, the brush for riding. You have a governor thing, but I think we would rather have you on academic. And you're not very good, so we'll give you the three. And you don't care. Hmm, seven item. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Uh, if we had more bow stuff, we would take away these flying halberds. We'll take away this, though. And you really don't care, so we'll really take it away. I forgot what this gives. Cavalry defense. And virtue and patrol. Interesting. Mencius. I assume you like these books, so you're going to be really mad when we take that away. And you are. Gong Zhi. Math is kind of a useless stat, but uh, I guess we'll take it away anyway. And then, also guy here. Oh, glad we checked him. That's interesting. Yeah, you probably don't need that, my guy. Let me unburden you. Assume you'll... A horse will shut you up. Again, we wish we could take that off of him, but we don't have a bow. Guess we should be buying them. Gonna be buying all the writing materials from now on. And I guess we're gonna buy some bows. Take care of that guy real quick. seems quite mad about that. Oop. Yeah, we 
can award him one of these. See the regular merchant, see if he has a bow. Or writing items. Probably don't check the regular merchant enough. There's a riot. Oh, and we see that our guy is injured from the tournament. Kind of expecting to lose this port. Uh, we're going to want to move some of our better guys to, Gyu, uh, to Chang Sha, I think. Because Gyu Ying doesn't have a front, and then... Between Nanhai and Changsha, we will attack the tower when the time is right. So not quite yet. Uh, gotta, I think, start calling some of these guys from Wuling back. We're gonna, what we're gonna do in order to organize all this, we're gonna call people back to Yang'an and then send them back out. I think, or we could just call them all Changsha and send them out. I think I like calling them back to the city, though, so we'll start wooling. And we can sort by governance and look to leave maybe Jin Zuan, the governor for now. And then we're going to be moving these guys to Changsha. No, not these guys. to move somebody to be governor of this city. And here, normally, we would sort by our current city, but we're going to look at all the guys, and we are looking for the best guy who's not a prefect. So this guy is in Yang and Huji. He's quite good. Very well balanced, too. We will actually... Give him an item. See the relatively high flood. So make him a little bit better. What's the name of this guy we took out? Zhang Xian. I'm gonna wanna comment on that at the end of the episode. So I'm gonna write it down. Ah! Uh, I always lose track of the name of these. Like, there's four guys who are in. that occupy, like, these four cities in these games, and an, none of them are very good. It's easy to forget about them. I know one is Jin Zuan, who's this guy here, and then Liu Du, I think, is here, and I can't remember. This is the rest. Okay. But, we will be moving guys here. Who's here? Du 
two OC to wing. We'll actually move him down to the bottom left. Out of wing wing. Because he is friends with Meng Huo, or they, like, are kind of... They're both part of the same rebellion, so... And he has high archer score. Okay. So let's get this consolidation on the road. I assume Liu Bao will attack here relatively quickly, and we're just going to flee. And I think we're going to try and hold up in Wu County Port. Chen Shi. Hua Man was born. Let's take a look at our school, because I think that people are generally born. Wow. So this is a son of Juge Leon. And you notice, all of his stats are quite high, even though he's 5. Oh, he's a genius. This is a really rare roll. This is the first time I've ever rolled a genius. Ever. Um, that isn't, like, just a genius normally born. Um, I know there was a female officer who we invested in her academic. Maybe that was a mistake. It might have been her? Yeah, so we invested in her academic because she was blue early on. But now, with this guy, we will just be dumping a ton into academic. This genius role, I've never seen it before. And when you invest in academic young, it makes them just grow up much stronger, uh, it seems. Because academic affects how much you learn uh, while you're growing up, and so it's the most useful to invest in early. Was this 25 we put in? So we're going to put in 30. And then just kind of let him develop. And then maybe top him off with something at the very end. Um, but yeah, this is... I've never rolled this before. So that's very exciting. Um... And, again, we have, like, way too many guys here. Um, gonna make Jiang Wan the governor. Governor. And then look to pull back a lot of these guys. Shot, right? And we're gonna pull back everyone just to start uh, in terms of like looking at it, and then we will deselect guys that we want to stay, like for example the governor. And then this is gonna be like one of our major fronts, so we will keep Liu Bao and Zhu Ji, and then have to have a little bit of a think. Uh, I think we want two officers that can lead infantry in the city. Zhu Rong is actually a pretty good choice. And then Liu Min, what's he look like? I guess we could have Sham okay, like be a bit of a flex where he can lead either one of a Bowman or, uh, yeah. And then we're gonna take a look at, Jiang Wan has really high farming, and that's kind of what he has really high in. Uh, we're gonna look to leave some other guys to help out with the governance. Zong Cheng is okay, and then I guess we'll leave Huan Jai as well, and we'll call everyone else back. Leaving seven people in the city. And then we will have to redistribute. Let's give these guys orders regarding recruitment. We want them to have... Oop. Not 
that. At least five, like, big units, so this will be 40,000. That'll be good for now. We'll do this. We'll set this up to transport to here, although we won't have it yet. Um, yeah, we gotta wait for all these guys to get back here before we send them back out and populate Gui Yang, Wu Ling, and Ling Ling. Uh, gonna have to find a better governor for Wu Ling as well. So we're just gonna pass. The, our outskirt cities are defended, and so we can worry about transporting soldiers and all that like a little bit later. Might look to actually uh, call a couple guys here and move Zheng Wen. Sounds familiar. He's solid. Blacksmith time. So generally, we want either pull arms or... And so what this will do is we'll sometimes get up to a new level or, and will always remake into something more useful, so the curved blades aren't all that useful. Most guys are either polearm or uh, single hand, so we'll do that. And he failed. Womp womp womp. Rod rammers are pretty much useless, because um, there aren't very many guys who have them. Uh, they do roll academic, which I've always thought was funny. Oop, are these all level 8? They are. So we're gonna just forge a few. We're gonna leave the academic 5 one. Because I think that's the best. Then we are gonna forge combine to make some of these. Now the axe. Guess we'll just leave the highest combat one. And then. Again, two handed, not very useful. Math, certainly not what we want as a secondary. That is very nice, the plus two academic. This is also pretty solid. But the plus two academic, ooh, we gotta make these guys loyal. Yikes. Oh, I think he's actually pretty good, right? Let's see. We can give him a debate book, maybe. Debate's already his size stat. We're probably not going to be uh, using him for that, but. We might not even have a debate book.
And so, uh, why we were so excited about the single-hand sword that gave Academic is because we can use it to, um, boost our principles, Academic. Uh, which you normally don't get... Academic's not a super common roll on single-hand, um, if I recall correctly. Like, it rolls on rod rammers commonly. Uh, but... Also gives commerce. So maybe we actually want to award it to Zhang Zhao instead, who is our governance guy. So now it's boosting his academic by two and his commerce by two. Okay, let's take a look at the workshop guy again and see if we can forge anything high level. Probably not. We can forge a decent level bow. The thing is, is we can either do that or wait out for the magical. And generally, I like waiting out for the magical. Although I haven't done the magical, so I don't know if the wait's worth it. We will not send guys out this turn. Uh, next turn, we will send out uh, people to cities. Uh, and we will do that before we do all the message board stuff to try and make sure we're getting the best guys to the cities. Let's see. I think we might actually move Sham okay there. That's a bit of a yikes. I thought we had a bunch of guys in this city. A bunch of soldiers. Uh, and we can't transport from these cities because they all just have one guy in them because they're waiting on reinforcements, so I guess we'll... This place has a lot of guys. So we will just move a guy for whose purpose is transporting. So a guy like this, but maybe a little bit better. A guy like Balong, maybe. He's got a decent dual score and decent patrol. His patrol's not very good. Right, we could just sort by... Look at the overall. So, like this guy. Perfect. See this guy. Does he have... does not have fire arrows, which is really what we want on the guy there. So we might have to move just some... nobody with fire arrows here. Hmm. Okay, hopefully he doesn't attack there this turn. Or the next. If he does, we can actually send out 
from Young An to there, and that might make him retreat. Wing Jian. Alright, so first we're going to take a look at this city and what this city needs. Uh, I think it has a decent governor in Shai Xi, yep, and doesn't really need Yang Yi, so we'll move him away. I'm just going to move all the shies down there. Uh. Nice archer score. Trying to figure out what I should give him. Well, I mean, kind of obviously that's what I'm doing, but. So this guy is, will actually be a good governor elsewhere, the Shai, probably. him the governor of Hepu, and then let's see what Hepu needs. Ugh. Oh, we were sending bunches of guys to Hepu. We will send out of Hepu once he gets there, I guess. Let's see, just the best governor that we have available that is not currently a prefix somewhere. King Key. And then, what is he good at? He's kind of good at everything. So we'll want to send him. Also sort by Young and I think that deselects, so we'll have to reselect. Jinzuan's there, and he's not terrible. Um, we might want to just add another kind of a uh, governing guy. 
It's not terrible. He's not very good, but not useless. And then we want a guy who has reasonably high duel that's just not very good at leading anybody. Zendirong fits that bill. Because generally we don't want cavalry guys as much. And then just kind of add guy who's not very good. Actually, this will be fine, I think. Because we still have to populate ports and stuff. City also doesn't have the best officers, right? Just Dongyan. It's quite spectacular, but actually it's okay. Make sure this policy is just 5,000 bowmen. I think she just has a really high flood, so we'll move someone with farming into her city, as well as someone who can transport. And we sort by Yang An. Remember we wanted to have this guy, this place, pretty locked in on some military guys, which we do. Not the best, but not the worst. And then... We do want them to eventually transport. They are transporting. They are transporting. Okay. They are slowly recruiting up. Okay. So they're doing what we want. Oh, we have to pull guys back from Zenke. Oh, maybe not. This is the don't have two inch. Yeah, that's fine. Wang Ping is extremely good. Aha, we checked and we found what we wanted. Guang Ping has a relationship with Zhuge Leon. So he might just be like auto employee on Zhuge Leon. Yep.
we will transport all the troops from here to here. Yeah, we populated ruling ourselves. How is our spying going? Yeah, we have almost everywhere. On the map, discovered. Or we have a really large chunk. Kind of want to keep Zhang Song and Ping Tong in the city, so. We can use them for this. So out of Heipu, we'll move someone into Wuan port. Someone with maybe 50 ish governance and low other overall stats. And then someone with a little bit of duel, but isn't very good overall. tell them to transport. Something we keep forgetting is the Emperor stuff, so... We need quite a bit for the next promotion. I think we have more than enough cities, though. We want Wen Can to stay in the city, so we don't mind using him. Yang Min does not have a high governance score overall, so he makes really good farmer guy in our particular city. Because so. he would not make a very good governor. transport the units forward except for 5,000 
Bowman. And a bunch of food. And I think there's still a lot of units here. Keep eleven thousand behind. Uh, we can't. We have to un. Whatever. And I guess we need the uh, the only other city we have to populate is the one with Huji in it right now. So let's take a look. Huji, what are you good at? Fly, build, everything. Send you some boys. So these balance guys make better governors themselves. someone in kind of the 50s that's overall other than the governance not very good Cheng being and balanced is more ideal so like 60 and 60 is preferable these two guys will probably actually be pretty good yeah I think they may keep these guys together I guess transport. You're not going to do this. This is a port? Alright. And I think we will call it for an episode. So... What we up? Oh. Where's he headed to? I didn't know this became repopulated. Well, that's frustrating. So, I'm gonna write down the names of these officers so we can send them back. Cause they are gonna be taking that city, but we will be attacking Baju Fortress after this. So, this episode, what we have done so far is, uh, let's see, escape? We've escaped. Um, we took out Jing Jian's force by taking over these three cities, and after that, most of what we've done has been consolidating, uh, and kind of getting ready to do some other stuff, um, also did some of the workshop stuff, and that was interesting. But for the most part, just going to be really mellow uh, for the next upcoming episode. And just continuing on, making sure all these ports are populated. Probably going to be trying to take out this fort, and take out this fort. And the main reason why is because we are trying to collect the officers that are inside of them. Uh, we're going to slowly make sure we populate all of these port areas and get transport working. And so... 
yeah, that'll be what we come back to next episode.